car on everything. Yeah. Yeah. He goes to the mill. He gets punched out like many, many others. And, uh, but he, you know, we have to take olives afterwards. I never had to do it, but you drink olives and, and the olives is worse than the milk. Bitter. It's worse. I mean, what it does to your stomach is something that you've never had before. But after that, <laughs> he disappeared. Went out, never came back. And, and I'm all up, sort of depressed. I said, this brother was Muslim for five years. He bought me in the deed. I said, I can't believe this. And you know who told me? You know who told me all this? Uncle. Mm -hmm. Got beat him out of the deed. <laughs> yeah, simple beat. You, 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 you had to beat him too? Yeah, they went, they went to the Westbury to get me to come because I didn't want to do it. Get to go there and beat this guy. And the people don't know who didn't know their dean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were we were raw and not knowing. That was that '70s stuff. Everybody did. Yeah, it wasn't we, just Muslims. Everybody beat somebody back in the '70s. That was that Black Panther. Yeah, we, we, we you didn't know that. You weren't happy when you beat the oh, people. The Nation of Islam was doing all of that stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Was, you know, and half of them came the out of, from, from the nation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, well, <laughs> what Uncle said to me, we call him Uncle. He was uh, a brother like me. He was, but anyway, uh, he said, brother. He was here just enough to get you in the dream. And then his mission was finished. He went back to the street selling drugs. Hmm. Selling drugs. Just banned the whole thing. That's like Sakina. Mm -hmm. Sakina. And, Mandu and yes, in Mandura. You got all Sakina. Mandura's mission was just to get Sakina to become mm -hmm. Muslim. Mm -hmm. And it was. A, now this has nothing to do with becoming Muslim, with, with us becoming Muslim, but the story is a very, very lovely story. Um, Mandura was, um, her father was a deacon in the church, very, very Christian deacon, you know, the pillars, one of the pillars of the church, and she was raised in a very Muslim, very religious family. She met, um, you know Margie, she met Margie's husband's cousin, um, what was that guy's name? Um, I don't know, Kareem was his Muslim name. But she met him and she was enamored of him. All the family got together. Uh, yeah, everybody got together and he started talking to her. And he went to the service and he was overseas and he kept, they were writing back and forth, writing back and forth. And he proposed to her. So she told the parents that she wanted to marry him. Well, needless to say, you know, these very Christian parents were very upset, but they told her that's what she wanted to do. But we have to meet him, and we, we're going to go to your wedding, and she explained that it was going to be held in Germany, because he was in Germany at the time. So he was in Germany, and, um, and they went over there. They got married. The parents were over there, and she was in there, and she used to write back and forth to me, asking me certain questions, because, you know, a woman should never let a man teach her, teach her the dean. Mm. No, never. <laughs> and so she went, and I write back to her because there were oh, things. No, it's mm. true. Just like a woman oh, can't you mean, teach for, for, a, just for, like for, a woman uh, can't teach a man the dean, a man can't teach a woman the dean. Not really. Unless it's their cousin. You could. But no, I'm not talking about it that way. I'm talking about as far as what their duty is and what they have to do. That's what I'm talking about. Because the man is always going to come from his viewpoint. Oh, so anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so Sakina, um, so anyway, Sakina had, a, um, Mandura had a friend, of, she became Muslim, her parents were over there, they gave her away, gave her a nice wedding over there in Germany, they came home and she lived with Kareem, they went to Germany. And in the meantime, um, Mandura met the, um, this lady, her name was Krista, Krista O'Neill, and she gave her dawah. And um, in fact, she was already Muslim. She was married to um, this, this African-American brother. Krista was German. She was married to this African, Muslim, African-American brother from Manhattan. He was a real slickster, okay? His name was Ashley, right? uh, Yeah. I remember Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Do anyway, you remember everybody would be here? Yeah. Um, <laughs> need a moment? They had a lot of problems. They, um, Krista had a lot of problems and of course, she would go to the mosque and she would try to ask the um, um, the um, imam there, but those imams, those um, Arab imams are most of them. I don't say all of them, I don't know all of them, but most of them are very, um, they see everything from one side, from the man's side. And so Sakina had a very difficult time. So Ahmed, 
was getting ready to, he was leaving and he was coming back to the States. So um, Mandura gave her, because I used to write back and forth to Mandura, she gave her my name and she, and she gave him, she gave her my name and she gave her my address and my phone number. And she said, if you ever need help, call the sister. I was working the Queens Journal at that time in Queens. I worked in the emergency department. And I was, this was an old, old hospital. And the emergency department was, um, it had one long hallway with all of these rooms.